Hello everyone, my name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI assistant app in Flutter and in this video we are going to cover an another package which is called as Flutter Animate because we want to add some custom animations to our application and as you can see there are list of animations that we can add to our application with an ease one of them is fade, scale, slide, flip, blur, shake and the list goes on okay some of the demonstration you can see here below okay so these are the some animations that you can simply add to your application so simply search flutter animate and you will get this package if you like you can just check out this amazing video by flutter animate or the flutter team and simply click on this flutter animate and first we need to import this package into our application so simply just copy this one out and simply inside our dependencies i will paste flutter animate and simply press ctrl save and now if we want we can just run the application by simply pressing f5 and simply here you can check out how we can use this package so there is a very basic syntax now whichever widget you want to animate you need to wrap with it animate widget and you need to mention the list of effects but I don't like this syntax rather I prefer this syntax okay simply on the widget we want to animate simply write dot animate and then the effect that you want to take place okay so we will use one of them like here is an effect for delay duration and curve actually I want to use this fade effect so what I will do is I will just copy this code snippet from here and then I will move to our application now what I want is rather than this page showing directly I want it to show it with a fading effect so what I want if you want you can just wrap this scaffold with this but actually I want the app bar to be shown so in this list view uh, I will use those attribute which means dot animate and fade duration of 500 milliseconds so we need to import this and rather than 500 milliseconds for now I will be using two dot seconds which means I want it for two seconds and simply control save now you can see there is a fade effect on the page if we wish we can reduce it a bit and if I press control save you will see a effect here okay so if I just restart the application you can see a fading effect here but that looks a bit too weird okay because this list is not fading properly so what I will do is I will cut it from here and rather I will move to our home card and inside this home card I will wrap this card with a fading effect okay I hope it will look a bit more decent as compared to that okay so simply import this animate and simply press ctrl save then uh, as you can see it looks a bit decent and if you want to see this effect without restarting the application you can use a property called as animate dot hot restart on hot reload to true okay this is good for developing purpose so if I just control save and now if I just press control save you will see a kind of a fading effect here okay and if you want you can increase the duration you can decrease the duration and it looks a bit decent for me one is more than enough if you want another effect like shake so you can use a shake attribute and you will see those things move if you want another effect like scale and if I press scale you will see this looks like this and this also looks pretty decent okay so but for now a fading is pretty good for me and you can mention curves here like what kind of fading you like like curves dot ease okay for me ease looks a bit decent or ease in okay and it's also good so as you can see there are many effects in this and if you want any effect in the loop what you have to do is inside this animate we can write on play and we can just enable this control dot repeat so it will just repeat that stuff so we will use in this future as well and if you want this to fade start from 0.5 for example I want to show the fading effect to the card but I don't want that card to uh, fade from 0 which means invisible to visible rather I would like it to fade from a certain value so simply begin and let it be 0.5 which means it will be already 50% visible so if I press ctrl save it looks like this but this doesn't look that good in our case so for us this looks decent 
and if you want to add this animation to any other screen you can simply add and you can always check out this amazing documentation okay of flutter animate so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and bye bye